Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches to latest research, events and cyber threats that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get to it. As always, talking about the launches first, OpenAI launches an all-purpose API for its text-based AI capabilities. The company has released an API that lets developers call its AI tools in on virtually any English language task. Basically, if you've got a task that requires understanding words in English, OpenAI wants to help automate it. For instance, you could rely on its ability to look through lots of text at once to answer a question about an article or find a relevant portion. Coming to the next launch, Google and Zebi AI launch Chemome Initiative to identify chemical probes with AI models. As part of the Chemome Initiative, Google says that Zebi AI will work with researchers to identify proteins of interest and source screening data the accelerated science team will use to train AI models. In some other news, Microsoft says that it will not sell its facial recognition tech to law enforcement. Microsoft is joining IBM and Amazon in taking a position against the use of facial recognition technology by law enforcement at least until more regulation is in place. These comments come after the death of George Floyd which has resulted in nationwide and global protests leading to broader conversations around racial justice and law enforcement. Moving on, Elon Musk says that Starship is now SpaceX's top priority. SpaceX CEO and founder Elon Musk says that after accomplishing its first human launch, the company's primary focus going forward will be developing Starship, its next generation spacecraft. Musk said that Starship is job one for the company, with the exception of ensuring that everything goes well with the forthcoming return of the Crew Dragon capsule from the International Space Station. In some news related to COVID-19, Google Maps is now updated with COVID-19 information and transit-related alerts. Google Maps is introducing a series of new features to better inform travelers and commuters about how their trip may be impacted by COVID-19, including travel restrictions, COVID-19 checkpoints, or even just the crowdness of public transport. It's also adding features that will help those traveling to COVID-19 testing centers better understand the eligibility and facility guidelines. In some business news, Amazon claims its AI-powered packaging sector reduced product damage rates by 24%. Amazon ships billions of products to customers globally each year. But before those products can be delivered, they have to be packaged carefully to avoid incurring damage-related costs. AI and machine learning play an invaluable part in this. A technical paper describes a system deployed in production at Amazon that automatically assigns packaging types to products, optimizing for package and transportation overhead. In some news related to cyber attacks, Honda Global Operation halted by ransomware attack. Honda has confirmed a cyber attack that brought parts of its global operations to a standstill. Details of the attack are slim, but an earlier report suggests that the Snake ransomware is the likely culprit. Snake, like other file encrypting malware, scrambles files and documents and holds them hostage for a ransom expected to be paid in cryptocurrency. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science. See you soon. Bye.